Now, any shape or form, I am not judgmental. Trust me, I am not judgmental. But when it comes to girls, I tend to get a little bit of trust issues towards them. I don't know, it was just like a past thing that happened in my life. I dated this one girl, and she was like a complete train wreck. Didn't even know her name, honestly. But, you know, she did some jacked up shit. I'm in high school then, so I'm not knowing what's going on. All I'm looking for is the honeys, you know, I'm trying to fill on some booties, you feel me? So, I'm just in high school like... <laughs> I heard you got them digits, girl. I also heard you ain't got no panties on. What's up? I got some key sweat in the car. And she just started bugging out, you know? She just started tripping and stuff, throwing shit, just going berserk, you know? So she fired back at me like, Nigga, I know you're not talking, I heard you got, hey, what the fuck is up with that? What is up with that? I don't know that. Oh, what? She's talking in front of me. So then I'm thinking like, what the hell is going on here? Did somebody spread rumors about me? Am I going, am I going viral or some shit on some type of website or what? Like, I didn't even know what was going on. So me and my group, we walked back, you know, around the campus one time, one good time, you know. And I see the girl with her arm around some other dude, like, damn, girl, I seen hair under your armpits, what's going on? Girl, god damn, you need deodorant. She got a nigga passed out, like, <gasps> damn, girl, you need some goddamn deodorant, shit. You did knock me off my high horse, god damn. But then she always also tried to deny it. As if, like, sometimes we would go to class, right, and I'd be sitting right behind her. And I was, I would smell mushrooms along with peas and onions, and I'm like, damn, are we in the cafeteria or what? And there'll be certain times when she'll turn around, and you know, and she'll say some crazy ass shit like, so, uh, I heard you was trying to hook up. I mean, what you got for me, sexy daddy? I look back at her like, bitch, I ain't got shit for you. Maybe some deodorant, some toothpaste, some damn clippers so you can cut that goddamn fucking 70s afro watch your fucking armpit and she just started going on for hours upon hours upon hours talking about some type of crazy shit you know and i'm like damn do you not even smell yourself like i'm not trying to be rude or nothing you know but the shit was just crazy the shit was disgusting it almost made me throw up i literally thought i was sitting inside pea soup it smelled like pea soup the entire goddamn week oh shit damn I'm getting nauseated just thinking about it Hold up. Then a nigga just feel like, you know, fuck, I want to faint, but it's a hard ass ground. Somebody lay a pillow down. <sighs> there we go. Now I can fucking faint in peace. So I'm like, damn. This girl's crazy. This girl, like, literally, she just smells so bad. No offense to her. But anyway, that was my story about, you know, when I was in high school and apparently I met a girl that really did not smell right, but she was fine as hell, so I was trying to grab the boat, you feel me? But hey, if you hit like that this, like that, ugh, hit that like button down below, and that subscribe button down below for more content like this, because I love doing these, I really do, it brings pride and joy out of me to you. Hey, uh, till then, I'll see you next time. Basically, I'll see you next time. I don't know when, but I'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out.